West. Am I under arrest? Possibly. Leaning towards yes? That depends. On? How well you work with others. Oh, well, shit, that's never been my strong suit. <laughs> Just kind of stuffy in here, don't you think? Fresh air, you know. I really thought that would work. All right, well, it seems I have some time in my hands. What do you want to talk about? Uh, I know who you are. Colonel Brad Park, commander of the ZDC. I'm up on my zombie news, thank you very much. Of course you are. Well, then you also know that the ZDC's mandate is to respond to zombies on U.S. soil. Yes, and confine and silence anybody who knows the truth. Well, I'll up on it. Thank you. It's happening again in Willamette. What is? An outbreak. I didn't see anything on the news. How long has it been going on? Going on six weeks now. Really? It's a long time to silence an entire town. Not for them. Who? Oh. The Pentagon. Oh, shit. What did you see there? You know what I saw. Nobody knows, Frank. The only reason I found out is because somebody screwed up and passed me a top-level report. This reservist training center, I have yet to see anyone who's actually stationed there. All communications in and out of the town are gone. Hell, the satellite photos have been updated in four months. It is being covered up. But <clears throat> all that pales in comparison to the mystery of why you, Frank West, are teaching a goddamn night class instead of being two steps ahead of me on this. I quit. You quit? Yes, I quit. Do you know how many Outbreaks I've been part of, how many I've covered, and what thanks have I got? Huh? Nothing. No thank yous, no flowers, just a contact book filled with dead people. National Headliner Award 2006. You exposed the first zombie outbreak on US, so I photographed the whole thing. You got some medals, a few letters behind your name. Honorary, of course. Yeah, but let's get to the point. Three weeks later, I tried to expose the Pentagon and the entire U.S. government for their involvement with it, and they buried me! Because you didn't have sufficient evidence. You come with me to Willamette. We expose this bullshit, and you do it right this time. Frank, 
Frank, there's a lot more at stake here than just one town. No. I'm out. Whoever breaks this, they're in for some big gains. Maybe even win back something. But actually, I'm surprised that you let an amateur rip this up from under you. What the hell are you talking about? This is one of your students, isn't it? Ooh. Uh, uh, I think you... Whoops. <clears throat> Vic. Mm. Hell of a team you've assembled. Coming up on Willamette. Sure, kill. Your discretion. Cover. That hotel looks good. Eh, three stars the best. You ever stop clowning? I should take a good look around. Fine, just meet me at the hotel. Yeah! <laughs> 
group? Fine, just meet me at the hotel. <laughs> Lifesaver. I'm heading straight for the shelter. I guess. Sorry, had to stop for a samosa. Samosa? Hey! Hey! Come over here before they see ya! All right, grab a gun! I got a shit ton of them! Can we get a room? Separate beds, though. Oh, you're hilarious. You know, technically speaking, you'd be our first guest. What do you mean? Are you guys from out of town or something? All this shit started on Black Friday, which, not coincidentally, was the day after the grand opening sale. You're saying this mall wasn't even open one day before it got destroyed by zombies? We gotta move. That door leads... The maintenance hallway? Yeah, but the manager locked himself in there when he got bit. Been trying to bust it down for, like, ever. That's our enemy! Your son! Hey! Hey! We got trouble! Cover me! While I get this door open!
Nice! Great! Man, I am already sick of this place. Ah, shit. You were an asshole, Ted, but you didn't deserve this. I'm Connor, by the way. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm investigating the outbreak. You know anything about how it started? I know these military assholes were guarding something super secret near the mall front entrance, but there was this journalist. What journalist? And she had a boy's name. Can't remember. Vic. Where's Vic now? She was holed up in the mall security center for a while. I'll still be there. We should head for the security center. Might be some weapons there. Good plan. Except I'm going solo. What? Look. This outbreak, almost certainly some kind of test. It's probably run by these military jerk-offs. And now I need to find out why. And I'm not gonna be able to do that with some flatfoot holding my leash. No offense. All right, I'll head into town, look into relief efforts. You learn something, you clue me in. Yeah, if I get time. All right, I'm out of here. There's a militia forming out in West Ridge. I'm gonna join up and kill a few more of these pricks. Later, bros. Good luck to you, West. Luck I got. What I need is a big wet juicy scoop. This should be interesting. Not bad. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines! West, 
beloved photographer and just generally awesome guy. You won! Come to the center podium to claim your prize. Please note that all the prizes are not transferable. No cash value. No exchange. With no insurance. We're not empty. We're not empty. All right. Connor says Vic's holed up at the security center. We gotta find out what she knows. Then I'm gonna kick her scrawny ass out of town. What's your problem? Holy shit! What the hell? I won't be any trouble. <laughs> That one came out of nowhere. That's not a normal sound. 